out my stomach, and I was feeling fucking good. And I feel pretty rough, like, jeez. Yeah, now I'm just feeling really tired, and um, like not good at all. I feel fucking beautiful tonight. Giblets as well, which are quite delicious. So, I'm not sure what day it is of the carnival diet, and I'm not sure what day it is of no fap either, but I'll pop them up on the screen. But I just wanted to do a quick check in and say that it's quarter past eight on an evening, and I'm just feeling really peaceful. It's really strange, like. It's been really nice weather. Um, like, see the windows are open because it smells like meat in my room because I left some plates in it overnight. Um, so I'm just letting it air out. But yeah, it feels really peaceful. Um, I've just done all like the housework and um, like all the kitchen's tidy, rooms tidy, all ish. Um, and. Yeah, I've not just crashed hard after work. Like, what's the day today as well? It's, it's Thursday. Normally Thursdays, I'm absolutely wrecked. I'm getting like ready for the weekend, getting ready to just crash on the sofa and eat food like shit food. But instead, it's like quarter past eight, and I'm like, oh, like awake and feel good. So tomorrow morning, I'm gonna go do a sea dip in the ocean, and it's gonna be fucking cold. But hopefully, it'll be a nice little sunrise. So, um, yeah, I'll keep you updated on that. Yeah, just checking in to say overall good day. Like, almost, we're just over three weeks in now. And feeling fucking good. <laughs> I'm glad I did it. So I went out with um, my friends yesterday. We went um, sea fishing. Didn't catch anything. But afterwards, we went round to one of theirs for some food. And um, I only had meat, I had um, steak and chicken, but I put a ton of seasoning on it. And like today, this morning, I feel pretty rough. Like I feel, um, oh, I just feel like I've got the start of a cold coming in, to be honest. Um, which might be the seasoning, or it might be I do actually have like a bit of a cold because my brother was ill about well, like last week. Um, so maybe I've caught that, but I thought I'd just make a note just in case that I feel better again tomorrow and it was just seasoning. Um. So today it's Monday morning and over the weekend I did sort of cheat on the diet a little bit. Um, I didn't have anything that wasn't meat as the main course, but I did have some of this stuff, um, pepper and garlic steak seasoning. And you can see I've almost used a whole bloody bottle of it, because it is quite tasty. Um, it doesn't have any sugar as an ingredient explicitly in it, but in the whole bottle, so this is, how much is it? 46 grams there is 5 grams of sugar in it which isn't like mad so yeah I had that I had it over 2 days I had it on Saturday night and I had it on Friday Saturday night and Sunday afternoon um, I had it on chicken breast and steaks both time absolutely delicious um, but last night Sunday I was up with crazy stomach cramps, completely disturbed my sleeps, um, couldn't like, couldn't even go to the toilet, I felt like I really needed a poo and I couldn't go for a poo um, and it really bloody hurt my stomach and I was up for a good hour um, just tossing and turning and I eventually fell back to sleep um, and yeah, so this week I'm going to go strict carnivore again, and if it's not meat, salt, fish or eggs, 
or water, it's not getting in my body, and um, that's that's that. I've got some peanut butter right here, and I'm going to show you what happens when you give a man peanut butter after 30 days of pretty much nothing but meat. <laughs> Jeez! Mm. It's so pain to have another flavour other than just meat and eggs. And uh, just so damn good. Um, but do you know what I mean? Like, it's in moderation, right? Like, if I can eat meat most of the time, like, sustain my diet of mostly meat, um, eat some, like, nut butters, because they're paying, fruit teas, maybe a bit of Greek yogurt with, like, vanilla extract, just things to keep it, like, spice it up a little bit um, and keep it interesting because I guess the overall goal here isn't to religiously follow a strict diet regimen like it's not about that it's just creating a step closer to um, just just wellness just feeling better about myself having more energy being more productive and um, just being a healthier person so um if I'm not flexible with it, I'm going to cave in eventually, right? And I'm going to eat a ton of shit foods. And it's not going to it's not going to do me well. I'm just going to spiral down. Um, and I'm not sure if I can moderate sugary foods. Because I can't moderate nicotine. I can't really moderate alcohol. And I definitely can't moderate drugs. Um, so sugar, I don't know if I'm willing to risk moderating sugar, especially now I've been off it for 30, pardon me, for 30 days. Um, so things like nuts, yoghurt, vanilla bean extracts, um, where it has a little subtle sweetness, but it's not explicit sugar, like, whoa, pulling you into that dopamine circuits and shit. Um, so yeah, I'm just sharing that, because I think it's important, like... So I've just been into the shop quickly and um, I did do some research beforehand on like what are the healthy um, sort of dairy products you can eat whilst remaining as carnivore as possible. Um, so I picked up this, some extra thick double cream and um, it's actually got not very much um, sugars in it at all. It's got about 30% of the sugar of um, Greek yogurt, which was a bit of a surprise to me. Um, so I've got some of that. And um, I've got some vanilla bean extract to give it a bit of flavour. Um, some peanut butter. Um, it's 100% peanuts. These nuts! <laughs> so this is better than the stuff I had a scoop out earlier. Um, and a whole duck. I had some duck legs the other day and they were beautiful so this one comes with giblets as well which are quite delicious so I'm going to make the um, little extra double cream flavour thing which is going to be nice and then cook the duck so. so I've poured about half the pot of whipping cream in there of the, um, the heavy whipping cream and um, now I'm going to add just a tiny, see this tastes sweet enough as it is, but I'm going to add a little bit of this.
now for a little taste test. Let's see what it tastes like. That's really good. I never thought I'd find myself having slightly vanilla flavoured extra thick double cream as like a treat. But that is beautiful. Ooh. Oh, so I just had some of that double cream with the um, vanilla extracts. And the first few mouthfuls were quite nice, but. I only ate like half of it and then it just wasn't nice. Maybe I put too much vanilla in it. Um, but yeah, now I'm just feeling really tired and um, like not good at all. Maybe because sleep last night was just not good, but um, I'm craving meat again. So I guess that little bit of dairy is a sort of reset. So yeah, I just wanted to know that. So I'm definitely feeling much better today. Had a good night's sleep and um, had a good breakfast and feeling much more alert and clear headed. I definitely feel like I've got the tail end of almost like a cold, like I can feel it in my throat. Um, and lots of people at my work have all just had um, like colds and my brother's had one and loads of his mates. So. But yeah, normally whenever there's a cold about, I'm absolutely crippled by it. So. For me to just catch the tail end, whereas everyone else has written off, that's really unusual. Um, and I guess one other thing I wanted to say was like, my cardiovascular abilities have just gone up like absolutely exponentially, and I've not been doing any physical training either. Um, yeah, I've been doing no like physical training apart from like a bit of yoga in the mornings. And um, I did seven aside football again last night. I was like a little whippet running around. I didn't have to stop for breathers, I could just keep running. And that's something I've not experienced before. Um, so, yeah, that was really like unexpected bonus. And um, I'm, just, I'm just going to the shops now, and um, I am going to get some lemon and ginger tea um, to try and shake the tail end of this cold. Um, because it just soothes my throat, I've got to work today and um, I won't be able to focus without it. And I think now, like I said in my video yesterday, I'm going to try and move towards a more balanced diet to keep it more sustainable. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do some research on like plant toxicity and all of that stuff. Um, and try and obviously not include all of that stuff. So, yeah. Just doing a quick check in here um, before I go out and get my shopping. Um, I'm full of energy today. Um, I've sort of recovered from the tail end of that cold, which literally lasted two days, which is nuts, considering my brother was wiped out for a whole week from it. And normally I get hit pretty bad with these things. Um, so that's like pretty nuts. And. Um, yeah, like did a workout after work, edited a video and um, did some like crypto stuff, like a really productive day and it's 8 o'clock and um, I'm now going to go and get some food to eat and um, some food for tomorrow, <laughs> pardon me, and um, yeah, tomorrow's the last day of the 30 day challenge so I'll be doing a review video and um, a going forward video as well. So I just wanted to document that I feel fucking beautiful tonight. Um, and um, yeah, I'll just leave that there. So it's just coming to the end of the evening now. It's five past ten. And I'm still buzzing. Like I could literally go for a run outside now. But I'm really trying to wind down. So I'm sat downstairs with really like dim lights on. Like it's really dim in here. Got a book. And I'm just going to read for a bit and try and settle down. But yeah, something's really switched in me today. I'm not sure if it's because I had the peanut butter or um, if I've just had more fat today than usual. Um, or like if there's some in lemon and ginger, which has buzzed me. 
I'm thinking the most reasonable explanation is I've consumed enough fat to actually flick into ketosis fully and I've recovered my sleep and from the cold that I did exercise as well um, but yeah lots of things but either way I feel pain so I'm just going to keep doing those things and um, yeah